Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. Today we're getting back into the main story after a little quick detour last time doing some hunts, some espers, and our first stop is going to be the Feywood. Let's see how it goes. Thank you for watching and enjoy. Just the opening card. The Feywood. Are there fairies? Don't. Nello, I know you're really tempted, but please don't step on the trap. Well, this music is a lot more different than what I was expecting. Ah. You just gonna use slow on everybody? Did I set up a ambit like that? I don't remember doing that. Oh, foe status haste. Oh, okay, well, go for it, I guess. Actually, don't. Um... just not wanting to attack here just attack oh use gravity that's fine use gravity this is annoying <laughs> this is annoying this is annoying That's gonna go off for right now. They're all healing and shit. Why are you switching targets, Vaughn? I don't understand. this thing oh now we're blinded Pinello's silenced oh god annoying please don't tell me there's a lot of fights like that in this place ha. what level is this stuff here 43 god more tomatoes effects I don't like this place the Fae Woods it sounded like a really nice place it sounded like a really nice place but it's not it's not at all get him 
Get him. Yeah. You know, I feel like I've done a lot of farming and grinding and this... I don't feel super over leveled right now. Maybe it's just because they're just annoying enemies no matter what. Oh, we have to fight the little... Little bunny moths? I'm confused. Yeah. I think I, I think I want to just get out of here. I think I just want to leave. Action shot there, Vaughn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, how long does this last? Where's the quickest way out of here? Uh, what's going on with my map? Whoa. I saw myself running in the mist. Mines? It's all connected. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What level are you? Oh! Oh, they're level 65. Okay. Alright. Okay. Um. Ah, no. No, 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 no. Don't piss that thing off. Unless we can put on some gear that prevents stop. I don't want to deal with that bullshit again. I'd rather fight these birds. Level 41. Yeah. Mirror Knight. Team? What are you guys doing over there? Leave the bunny alone, okay? What happened to attack party tar party leader target? Let's go. Nice. Is that snow? This place is so weird looking. This way? No. 
A dense mist prevents you from advancing. We are definitely not wanted there. Um, that was weird. The lack of voice acting in that or any kind of dialogue was just really strange. I can't think of anything else to do right now except to explore around some more. Oh, hello. Cerberus. The way opened? Oh. Well, they could have told me. Well, we're here, so we might as well take a quick peek around, I guess. Tinkerchief. I'd much rather fight these enemies. Elemental. Oh, level 25. We can take it. Ooh, a map. Glad we came this way. Yeah, we pretty much. We pretty much. Got everything, I'd say. Alrighty. enough Doing lots of damage here oh we have no mp took our mp just just kill it don't try to use charge just attack it it's almost dead charge just attack it yeah yeah good 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 ah. Ah. don't you get back up <laughs> don't you do it Yeah, I killed it so fast you couldn't even get the Gamba in. <laughs> the prediction. Oh yeah, gotta drink my water. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god, have mercy.
<laughs> just see what Pinello does. Do you have anything for that? There you go. Prioritizing yourself, huh? I see how it is. I guess that's fair. You are the healer. You should be prioritized. All right, good job, team. Potion. All right, well, our MP is pretty much non-existent. But it'll come back. Ooh. Well, they're not going to give me a chance to refill it. You know what? Um, I think it'll be easier and quicker if I just do this in the long run. I didn't mean to save though, but we'll save anyways. The mist here makes the MP regen by walking much faster. Oh, that's cool. these flowers look at these flowers look at these things whatever those are Watching Fran do her thing. Look at her do her thing. four in new areas but maybe at times two. Oh, i got a new spell the spellga what is map candle reveals hidden areas on your map of the Feywood. Huh? Hidden areas. Not sure I understand. Didn't it just reveal the... I don't know. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. And I'm gonna put it on times two, because I have been spoiled rotten by this... do normal speed anymore i just can't do it can't do it i obtained a wind slicer pinion seems like a, a usable item what happened there did fran just zap him oh she did 
She's zapping him. Hit it. Yeah. Zap him. What is? Haywood Glyph. Examine the pattern. Voiceless words chime within your head. In this sanctum shall the pilgrim find truth and illusion both. Illusion betokens the true way. Illusion is the true way. I don't think I understand. Jeez, Fran, you scare me. I do not want to be on her bad side with that lightning. Behemoth, level 44, weak to ice or water or whatever. He was not that tough. Okay, so... Is this gonna work or is this like a puzzle? Ah! Oh! No, I'm tired! I just wanted to go forward and get to another crystal and, and stop. Okay. In this sanctum shall the pilgrim find truth and illusion both. Illusion betokens the true way. Oh, maybe I have to follow... Follow the illusion? Or is that just random? There's illusions everywhere. All right, hint, clue. Overtime puzzles are not welcome right now. Stand on the glyph and look around. Oh, you have to move your camera up? Or just look around. Okay. forward let's go forward girls Now it works? Oh. Okay. Let's try to do this one quickly. Ooh. Read the inscription. Giga Summoner Gate's power is yours to claim. Beyond the one gate lies sacred Giravagan. Over the one gate, the Gigas holds sway. Touch it. Strong magics behind the gate, it will uh, bind the gate, it will not open. Now what? Now 
know what. Um, do I need a certain, what's the inscription say again? The gigas, over the one gate, the gigas holds sway. The gigas. I have the gigas. Vaughn has, what you call it? something else. Does that work? I think that worked. <laughs> the only thing you're good for because you kind of suck in battle not as much as the one we were using just now earlier Ancient city of Giravagan. On the farthest shores of the River of Time, shrouded deep in the roiling mist. What is it, Fran? The mist runs thick here. Like on the Leviathan? Do not worry. I will behave myself. The mist here is... cold. I sense something like the shadow here. Fena. It appears Sid has yet to arrive. We'll lie in wait for him here. So we're not going inside? Not unless you want to end up twisted. Like the old man. Something there. What is it? She can see him. Let's follow her. Whoa, look at that archway. Look at that. Okay, hope there's a save crystal soon. Because I'm just... I'm about to fall over here. <laughs> Tired. Again, we have the very, uh, I, I think it sounds very Star Wars-y music. Okay, there's our save crystal. This place is really nice. Look at the... It's like ice or crystal. I, I'm really digging that texture right there. That looks really good. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna get some dinner and hit the hay. All right, so anyways, Let's explore Giruvagan and see if we can find 
Sid. And fuck him up or something. Magic stir within this device. Touch it. Ready for a fight? Y'all ready? Ready for a fight? <laughs> Looks like someone's garden guarding this huge body of water. And he has a very big sword. Also no head. Daedalus. Okay, let's see what our team's doing. Dispel, attack. Dispel, attack. Okay. As long as she's not spamming the dispel, I'm okay with it. I feel like we should save our... Our mystic points, whatever, what it's called, our charges, for the real boss, because this, I think this feels just like a mini boss kind of thing. heels. Okay, what else can we do? Oh, since I have sight unseeing, I should unleash an attack only available when blind. I should uh, make a gambit for when he's blind to use it. Fuse. No, that's for HP. I don't know. I want to do something different than just attacking, but I don't know what. Yeah, Shades of... Shades of Black is cool. That's neat. Aw, oh, missed. Almost got him. just attack him but <laughs> that's okay Ooh, nice gun and the crystal shield looks really cool too we didn't really take a look at our new weapons, what they look like. Do I know Daedalus from mythology? Uh, is he the guy who flew too close to the sun and got burned up? Or is that Icarus? Is is he or he's related to Icarus? I don't know. Something like okay, so Icarus. He was the father of Icarus. Alright, let's see. Waystone. Touch the device.
Whoa. This is interesting. Who built this? I bet we can learn all kinds of cool stuff about this place in the bestiary. <laughs> I gotta spend some time to open that up a bit some more. What is this? Behemoth. You look so cool. Look at that design. Oh, two LP. Woo. Look at that. And these are level 45 and we're level 45 to 49. Well, this Vaughn is 49, but this team is 45 and 46. Okay. All right, let's speed it up and let's get through this place. Gargoyle Baron. Let's see, look at him. Ah, ah. Avrio Gate Stone. Ancient beyond reckoning. The device still functions. Touch it. I'm not sure what we did, but hopefully it was good. Music is very ominous, I'd say. Ah, Slavins? Mithril Golem. Weak to water. the device treasure oh I obtained a sash um whoa like this area so far. I know we haven't gone in too deep yet, but it seems... I like the design of the map here. But I don't know if it's going to surpass the silken wood for me. Dave is raiding. Welcome in, Dave. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in and I hope you're having a fantastic night. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so whoa. Okay, this is cool because I've seen stuff like this before but I have I haven't seen it like on a decline like that usually it's just flat and you just go straight across in a, a big chasm uh, but this we're whoa we're going down that's really cool kind of reminds me of like Rainbow Road and 
uh, Mario Kart 64. LPs for the cart license. <laughs> I would love to see these guys going through the world on little on little mini carts. Little cart racers. Make it maybe they can mod a chocobo. Make it a a cart instead, a go-kart instead. Which way do we want to go? Oh, I'm blinded. Sight unseeing. I missed because Balthier used eye drops on me. We're gonna have to work out the kinks of that. <laughs> Here we go. A barrier of powerful magics prevents passage. There might be a mechanism to lower the barrier elsewhere. There's two. These are kind of hard to spot. I feel like I definitely missed one. Blinded except Bosch. That's great. Oh my god. Disease, slow, disable, sap, oil, poison, immobilized. That's scary. Uh, that's scary. Let's start with a remedy. There we go. We're good. They put every status effect on Bosch except blind. Ah, they did it again. Oh, this place sucks. Yeah, get him out of here. disease uh 
Um, <laughs> uh, what do I do? Okay, uh, he's blinded, so... He's also diseased, which I'm not really sure what that does. Can he use sight and seeing right now? Now Ash has sap. Okay, these Mar Marlboros are annoying, like I would expect them to be. Sight unseen. Miss. Oh, his blindness is gone. I guess disease makes your HP one. Your max HP is one or something. Okay, we're still diseased. Do I have anything for disease? Even if you die, it doesn't go away. Remove disease from one ally. Serum. Very strange. All right, let's go. <laughs> found it. It just appeared. Oh. I take back everything I said about the Malrose in the Gol Golmore jungle or whatever. Shake the feeling we're somewhere we're not meant to be. Me too! I don't think we should yeah, be here either. It's exciting. No, it's not. Exciting? You are not troubled by the unknown? Who can say what lies ahead? We may encounter the very creators of Nethesite. Yeah, I don't know what we'll find. I like it better that way. You're sounding more the Sky Pirate every day. Set up a gambit for that if I didn't already. I think don't think I did. Um I don't need him to use dispel. But she already uses it, I think. So we're gonna put cleanse up there. Yeah, way up there. Actually, like way at the top. <laughs> Get rid of that. Whoa, look at all this down here. Sleep ga. Oh. Uh, 
I think, Doom, that the fights would be a lot less annoying if maybe I had my gambits set up a little bit better to to deal with that. All those um, status effects. But it just, it's either way, it's so much work. Manually or setting up gambits to like prepare for that. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's awful. Ribbon? I haven't found ribbon yet. But I have found, I have given it to everybody on their LP boards. But I have not encountered ribbon in the game yet. So when we do find it, we'll be able to use it, but we have not yet found it. Well, I was hoping we would come to a boss fight or something when I saw that save crystal, but nope, not yet. But no enemies, so... I'm okay with this for right now. I could use a little break. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. Why is everything green? Are we in the matrix? <laughs> Either that or hell. Oh gosh. Okay, let, let's actually take a break because it's been over an hour. came with a um, booklet that explained more of these things, but I'm not sure. Freddy's fireball. Okay. Technics are turned off. died. What the hell? I have Lure on, but he's still going after Balthier. Here we go. So I want you to keep Balthier healed if possible. Maybe that's not going to happen here. Every 
everybody on this team has Kiraga. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Oh wait, he already has regen? Never mind. It's still on. Okay, I still feel like we should save our... for something at the end of this place. He's almost dead. Althea ran out of MP. He was using Blizzard a lot. But I think Balthier and um, Bosch are both doing about 1800, like, per hit. How do I know when the dungeon ends? Probably when we fight Sid or something, I don't know. Waystone, touch the device. Whoa. We're inside that, that big stone that we were looking at. The map is... says, who could have built this place? That's exactly what I was asking. I'm not sure which direction we want to go. Okay, so there's a device there. Hey, Scorpio. Oh, it looks like... Okay. So this isn't progress. We have to open that. That's progress, the gate. So we'll go ahead and activate this. From the front, out the back. Oh my god, there's someone coming up the stairs. The device does not respond, but voiceless words chime within your head. For my master's chosen and no other, the way will I lay open. For my master's chosen. Okay, so it... Maybe I have to be a different character, like Balthier. If Sid is the master, then maybe it's Balthier. Possibly Ash, I don't know. Nope, not Balthier. Let's try it with the Sword of Kings equipped. Nope. All right, let's see what's this other way. Let's see if we can get any clues.
There we go. Cloud staff. Um, okay, well. Oh, there's more. Oh boy. Reaper. Powerful magics prevents passage. But the mechanism didn't like me. We need more clues. Takes them to one HP, but it it has a chance to to miss, like a pretty high chance to miss. But I think that's what's going on. doing like 3k to these guys with his full HP. Oh, and his full HP is gone now. Holy Rod. like no sense of where I am within this space which ways forward which ways back We're definitely on track now. Waystone three. What's down here? Something that looks like we've already done. I see eight stone. Okay, hold on. 
Okay. Whoa. Touch the three before I lose it. Let's see where that takes me. It's a hundred and eleven degrees Fahrenheit over there, Phantom. It's a hundred and seven here. We've made some progress, finally. I've never seen this much mist. Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Is that Nethosite? I wonder. With that much Nethosite in one's grasp. You could destroy all of Ivalice if you wished it. Well, we can't let the Empire get a hold of that now, can we? Waystone one! And a save crystal. Oh, okay. At 6.30 p.m.? Yes, it is, it is 107 degrees at 6.30 p.m. Yep. Them's the facts. Okay, back to times two. Zai. Haste. Shem Zai's elemental weakness has changed. Let's get a regen on. going to happen at some point. Let's get rid of the elemental uh, bullets for right now. This is a weird looking thing. You 
have double crossbows? But your crossbows have tails. Um... Is... Man, you have a lot of Technics. Is numerology good? Like, for Bosch? I feel like it would be, right? How does it work exactly? I think this thing will die before we can really figure it out, though. He's doing 550 damage. Oh, he's using a remedy. Does that mean it, it's... 623 damage. 1100 damage. 500 damage. I don't know. Got the Esper Shemhazai, the Whisper, and hey Taco Trucks, thank you. How have you been? So it deals one damage, then two, then four, doubling with each use until it gets to sixty-five thousand as long as it hits. But the chance to hit goes down each time it resets on a miss. So when it resets, do you have to cast it again or? Or does it, does it work for the, the battle? <laughs> Although when a battle begins and ends in this game is not really set in stone because of the nature of how you can get in and out of fights and stuff. And how do you know? One cast would be one damage. Oh, so you have to keep using it One da- so literally one damage. Oh, that seems very like... <sighs> something that you wouldn't use in like your normal everyday kind of fight. A Sega mode is good. Reverse mode, like maybe, yeah, tedious. Like maybe if you're trying to like see the highest damage you could get with one character or something. You'd have to cast it 16 times to get to the max, max damage without missing, which would require a lot of luck. I see. So you could use it. Is there like a time limit between how, when you use, um, or like, if it, as long as it doesn't miss, is there like a time limit or a way that it, another way that it would end? So like if Balthier uses it on that boss fight, he uses it like two times without missing, but he's doing other stuff in between like using remedies and, and regular attacks. And then the fight ends and we go to like another fight. Can I keep it up as long, until it misses? That's what you gathered from the description online. So like I could use it every once in a while and it probably wouldn't hurt me if I just used it every so often and then it, it might like go up or it might reset. I think I'm gonna try to maybe mess with that a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, we should take a look at the Esper. Okay, so of course, if we give it to Vaughn, we're gonna unlock two things. Guns. Oh, I don't I don't care if Vaughn uses guns. Um nothing here. Come on. Give me some good things. Nothing here. Ooh, we could unlock hand bombs three for Balthier. Which might be cool. It... I'd consider it. We would consider it. Nothing there. Nothing there. What you got, Boshy boy? We could give Bosh Potions Lore 2? Really? You have to... To get Potions Lore stinking 2, you have to get a... Esper? We already have this shield block, so that's not really useful. Ooh, what's this? Ocean's Lore 3? Okay. Ocean's Lore 3. Ooh! White Magic 7. Alright. Ash is in the, in the lead so far. We already have this. Okay, I think I'm gonna give it to Ash, unless you guys think that I should do bombs three on Balthier. What do you guys think? I'm thinking Lens and Asuna for Ash is probably way better. Pinello or Ash? Pinello? Oh yeah, Pinello doesn't have... She already has this, so... Oh, wait, wait I didn't see this. How did I miss this? We could give her heavy armor. 10, 11, and 12. Ooh. I think, I still think Ash. Oh, cleanse and Asuna. So Balthier, I want to use this numerology thing. I want to give it a try. I don't know if I can make it work, so he's not just, like, spamming it. Let's just put on party leader's, party leader's target. That means he's not really going to attack ever. <laughs> Maybe I'll just use it manually. Because then I'll be able to kind of see better if it's, like, how often it's working or not. The device bears a time-worn time worn inscription. Read it. By this path and no other, reach ye the round of the undying walk of the chosen. Touch the device. Everyone. Fear not, Princess of Dalmasca. We of Curia have chosen you, and you alone. Oh, she is the chosen one. You what now? Shalia Benarg and Dalmasca, we see your heart desires power, and power most holy shall we grant. Seek you the sun crest, slumbering star. In tower on distant shore, it dreams. The mother of all Nethesite, the source of its unending power. The mother of Nethesite. The Dynast King, his fellow shards, coarse trinkets cut from sun crest's light. Such power exists? In times that are long passed away, 
We sought to save this Ivalice, and chose Wraithwall, the Dynast King. He took the sword, and cut the crest. Three shards he took from its gilt grasp, and so became the Dynast King. His words and deeds run through your veins. So the Dynast King was chosen by them. That's why I was given it, the Sword of Kings. The treaty held with kings of old is but a memory, cold and still. With you, we now shall treat of you, to cut a run for history's flow. Now take this sword, this treaty blade, a curian seal, mark of your worth. Cut deep the crest, and seize your shards. Wield Dynast King's power. Destroy Vanar. But Vanar? Vanar's an Acurian, a being like you. Vanar is a heretic! She's a... <laughs> <laughs> My bad, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! The lesser sight is ours to give to Chosen Bearer, or to none. The heretic trespassed and set the rose of knowledge in man's hand. With imitations they profane. It is anathema to us. We give you now the stone and task. Administer judgment. Destroy them all. Judgment? I don't know if these Destroy are them all. Nice. The Empire? Oh, oh. Curians or whatever. The hues of a skew, histories weave. With haste, they move through two short lives. Driven to there by base desires. Toward waste and wasting. On they run. Undying, we are Curian like the path for wayward sons of men. Oft did we pass judgment on them. So that Ivalice might endure. Eternal, we are history's stewards. To set the course and keep it true. The Chosen is our hand, our fist. To let live some and crush the rest. Princess, you have been chosen. Take revenge against those who stole your kingdom. Fulfill your role as savior. Attain to your birthright. with these Acuria? What gives them the right to tell you what to do? Will you take revenge, as they ask? Huh? We could not see them, but we heard the Acuria speak. They may be gods, but we are the arbiters of our destiny. Your Highness, I am against this. The Empire must pay, but destruction... Um... Does anyone know what happened to Dr. Sid? Wasn't he saying he'd be here? He should have arrived by now. And I should have realized by now. He's not coming. He laid out the bait and we bit. Remember what he said? He wanted Ash to get the stone. He wanted that all along. That's why he flaunted his nethersite and reeled us in with his stories about Gedo Vagan, all to bring Ash to the Arcuria. But wait, if we got a hold of the Nethysite, wouldn't that be bad for the Empire? Maybe he wants to see what happens when foes with Nethysite collide. That'd be just like Dr. Sid. I will search out the Sun Crist. History is built by our hands. That's his favorite line. 
He'd never stand by and watch the Acurious Stones shape things. So, he was talking to Venar all along. He wasn't mad at all then, was he? You obtain the Treaty Blade. Restore Dalmasca's sovereignty and make our amends with Lady Ash. It's the only way to avert war. It is a war of necessity. Your Lady Ash herself is bent on it. She desires it above all else. She will not rest until her revenge is full wrought. I fear you misread her intent. She would sooner shun war than embrace it. You are young, Larsa. And you presume beyond your ken. Then let us look closer. Judge Gabranth. I would have you seek after the Lady Ash and judge whether she makes overtures of peace or war. Yours shall be the eyes of the Empire. And should I espy war, I am to put her to the sword. Is that your wish, Excellency? It will not come to that, I am sure. I have faith in her, faith in you both. On you, Gabranth, shall I wager all our fortunes. As you will. That so sweet a child could be your brother is hard to believe. Larsa is as he should be. What's that, Vena? Ah, taken the bait already, have they? Splendid. The Ocuria have given the princess her treaty blade. The gods have chosen their scribe to write history as they deem fit. Yes, and she with fresh nethersite to aid her. Bah! To hell with the Acuria and their stones. What good? A power that cannot be harnessed. Baubles best suited for study, no more. <sighs> we conquered two kingdoms that you might study these baubles. Oh, I am grateful for the sacrifice. Without it, manufactured Nethersite would have eluded us. An unrivaled weapon, I warrant you. <sighs> Tell me, Venar. Have I not been an apt pupil? My counsel did but guide your able hand. Through power of man, the stones did you perfect. Yes. So much accomplished in six fleeting years. Man's fervor or all obstacles prevailing. Our lives are much too short. You undying might waste long centuries away, but we, I fear, cannot. Just so. Had we more time, we might have availed ourselves of more prudent measures. Your greatest work still lies before you. Not lightly will the Acuria allow you to wrest the reins of history from their grasp back into the hands of man. Indeed. What claim does Garen have on history's reigns? Seated on throne immortal, rent from time. For your ascendance, vain, I offer prayer. May you attain all that which is your due. Attain it I shall. For too long have my deeds gone unrewarded. In tower on distant shore dreams the sun, Christ. Do these words mean aught to you? Didn't Redis say he was going to follow some other course? Maybe he found out something that can help. I'd rather stay out of that Sky Pirate's debt, thank you. What's wrong with Redis? I mean, if you can't trust your own kind, who can you trust? You're an expert on pirating now, are you? Okay, now we'll go ahead and take a break here. Uh, a lot happened. I think I 
understand most of it. I think I understand that it does open up a lot of questions <laughs> on like people's exact motives and the the goals that they're trying to achieve and the the means that they're trying to achieve them and um if anybody wants to put like some bullet points that we can discuss when we come back in the chat or like a, a brief summary of like some of the major points what i got from some of that is that there are these uh powerful beings the Akurians? they're like the gods of this world basically and they use they choose humans to do like their their bidding to carry out their will and they have this idea of how the course of things should go and so they try to keep whatever like balance that they feel is appropriate by using people as their hands and one of the Okurians um, broke off from the rest and is going through both Sid and Vane to try to oppose the others and to give, I guess, humans more of their own free will or their more, more of their own agency. But I, do, I don't necessarily see like a this is the good side, this is the evil side. Like, they both seem kind of bad, <laughs> but also maybe a little bit gray. And um, the Akurians want Ash to destroy Vana and the Empire. And maybe they want the Empire to be destroyed mainly because Vana is working with the Empire and to get to him, he has they have to go through the Empire or something like that. But anyways, um, yeah, anything that I missed got wrong or whatever, anything important to keep in mind from that, feel free to type it in chat, Max or whoever, and I'll be right back. You pretty much got the gist of everything. Sid and Vane arranged for the Empire to invade Nebradia and Dalmasca to find the Nethysite stones to study and replicate. Presumably because Vana told them to. Vana, Sid and Vane don't like the idea of humanity being controlled from the outside. The Dynast King basically conquered the world to get his peace which did last several hundred years, but at what price? So the peace that the Dynast King wrought, or whatever, whatever the word is, brought about, was um, basically because of the Okurians, because that's what they wanted to happen, and they gave him the power to make it happen. 